Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. As you can see I recently bought myself a new lathe as an upgrade to my small Webeco lathe and it's been great so far. But one of the things that I've been sorely missing is some sort of carriage stop. Unfortunately this lathe doesn't come with one so in this video I'll be making a carriage stop. Now normally for simple things like this I don't really make any drawings but in this case I decided to make a quick mock-up in AutoCAD so that I could get all the dimensions and angles correct. Um, this is for a ball bearing and this is for a bolt hole and this is just the top clamp assembly. The bottom half will be fairly easy to make without any drawings. So if you really want these drawings um, feel free to email me. I'll be making it out of mild steel. I would have preferred to make it out of something like brass or aluminium so that it doesn't scratch anything. But mild steel is the closest thing I have. So let's get going. I'm starting out by squaring the piece and machining it to the right size. I'm squaring the piece by using a round rod on one side of the vice jaws. A ball bearing probably would have been better, but in this case having the piece perfectly square isn't needed. So now that I've got the piece machined to the right size, I need to mill out this part here. So I'm just going to paint it with some engineering dye and mark out where I need to remove the metal. And then probably I'll use a face mill to cut it out. Here I'm using a 60mm 90 degree face mill and taking about 2mm per pass. A 90 degree face mill doesn't cut a perfectly smooth side wall so I'm just flipping the piece over so I can clean up the face. So now that I've got this milled out I need to mill the V here and the V is basically just a 90 degree cutout 
over here and to do that I'm just putting it in a v-block like so So the top half is nearly finished, I've already tested it on the lathe and it fits well. Now I just need to drill a hole for this bolt and add a dimple for this small ball bearing. And ball bearing is going to go there. And I also need to make the clamping plate for the bottom. This is the piece that will be the bottom clamp and I'm just cleaning up the surfaces and machining it to the right size. I'm not squaring it here as I was a bit lazy and thought I would get away with it but I had to do it later on anyway as it was a bit too out of square for my liking. So this is what I've got so far, it's turning out pretty well. The ball bearing acts as a pivot point and also stops this plate from wanting to move like so. So it keeps it all in line, so when you're moving it up and down the bed, it doesn't really want to swivel around. And I've also worked out where to drill and tap the hole for the fine adjustment. I'm either going to use a bolt that I find or fabricate something with knurling.
I decided to make my own bolt, so here I'm going to knurl a piece of brass, then tap it to make some knobs. One knob will be the bolt head, and the other will be used as a locking nut. As you're about to see, my first attempt at knurling didn't quite turn out as well as I had hoped, so I parted it off and did it again. So I'm just going to let this dry out and then I'm going to put it in the lathe and face it off. As you can see the carriage stop is finished and I think it's turned out pretty well. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.